Oxford today. I am here for my Oxford Masters graduation ceremony and I thought what have we not done in a while? We've not done a uni vlog. No I'm obviously not here to study but I thought we could just make this a little catch up and the final Oxford uni vlog. The last one ever where it all began. I honestly feel so nostalgic coming back here. Like this is my first time like proper, like we walked a bit around the city last night, went to like the library and all of that. And like, it's so nostalgic. It just feels, I don't know, like it is seven years since I started here. So 2016, I remember it so well. If you were a pioneer of the uni vlogs, then that was when we were in. The room was like a brick wall. It had like a brick wall and a piano and a tiny fridge and no cooking equipment. And you weren't allowed to have a microwave or anything. I mean, I guess I really got into like YouTube that year. It was really like a concentration of mine. I remember I was saying the other day at work because my room's lighting wasn't very good. Every time my friend who was on the first floor was at a tutorial, basically go to her room and I'd film like three back-to-back -back videos in like a morning. In the December of that year, I started Grace Fit Guides, or I wrote them. Do you remember after I received like an email from like the bursar who was like, we haven't received your student loan, which was meant to be going straight from student finance. So absolutely freaked out. Wrote the Grace Fit Guides, set them all up on a website and then launched the first challenge that January. Is everything live? Is everything live? Oh, we are live. Oh. And that was like the start of all of it because that's what turned into Shreddy. Like it's still the same business. So that was first year. And then we went down to Cowley, we lived in a house there. Those were like my, my very gym sharky days. That's how I'll put that one. I was like constantly traveling down to London. I thought I was hot shit. You know, good, good on me at the time. I look back and like the way I would churn out content, like making sure I had three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. on top of like the 10,000 words a week. Then third year, back into college, and that was the year I started Tala. We like walked past the library yesterday and I was remembering, because I've started Tala like a month before finals. The way it works here is you have to do 10,000 words a week, like every fucking week, like that was my schedule. You do that for eight weeks and you get a month, month and a half off and then you go again and you do that for three times a year. And then none of it counts, but then you get to finals. Oh, it's lovely and hygienic. In finals, I had 40,000 words, I think it was, due on one day and then 10 days of like back-to-back -back exams. So I started Tala in May of my last year and my finals were in June. Why I did that, I have no fucking clue. Actually I do, it was meant to launch way earlier. Like I at this point just had a PA, like I had a part-time PA, she was a student at like a nearby university. We're still really good friends now. I remember so clearly I'd been hiring for like a creative assistant role and I had like a short list and I was going through them. I basically just decided that I needed to hire two of them. I was like, oh my God, this is all about to go tits up. And this was like a few weeks before my finals and so I was like well I can't go down to London to like onboard them and introduce them to the brand so all of them came up to Oxford for a week and I rented an Airbnb like five minutes from my college and they were staying there all the time and I was at uni obviously like ramping up for my finals but also hilarious to look back on and thinking of them literally like in Oxford and me like going back in the middle of the day and being like how's this getting on and then working on things and then leaving to the tutorials again anyway with the library I remember having just launched Tala and like, don't get me wrong, the launch went well, but I don't know if anyone remembers this. The website glitched pretty severely and it basically meant that we sold loads of stock that we didn't have. And so we were like watching the sales go up and we were like, wow, this is like amazing. Like, this is truly incredible. Until it got to a point where we thought, how much stock did you say we had again? And basically the maths was not mathsing and the maths was not mathsing because we'd sold stock that we didn't have. The website just hadn't stopped. Like usually when stock gets down to zero, it hadn't been able to process people clicking at the same time. I said, she sold loads of stock we didn't have and it was as I said like a month before my finals it was an absolute shit show I remember like 
revising for my finals and I could not stop crying. I was like, oh my god, I really, like, I tried to launch this brand and I fucked, like, I fucked it. Anyway, it was going fucking nuts. The team couldn't deal with it and everyone was on all of the customer service. My friends were on all of the customer service. So I remember posting in the university Facebook group basically saying to any like second years who don't have exams like to any second years have a few hours to spare I can't remember what it was we were like we'll pay you like 15 quid now that's such like a lot but I'm pretty sure that's what we said I was very desperate so I literally had people from the university we'd like put a handbook together who were just replying to customer service emails I'm not sure how I feel about that now but it is a true story oh well those would be two completely separate wings anyway this Oxford Masters thing first of all I'm not really sure what the deal on it is on it but basically when you're at Oxford or Cambridge seven years after matriculation on account of good behavior I don't know what this good behavior thing is I think it's like if you don't get arrested oh hello, hello. Would you like to greet people? Hello, people. Basically, everyone, everyone's degree gets upgraded from a BA honours to an MA, an Oxford MA, an MA Oxon. I don't fucking know. Anyway, that's why I'm here for my graduation ceremony. So this is my second graduation. I looked it up on the internet because I was like, why does it get upgraded? And there appears to be two f very uh, firm and fierce camps. One of them is like, it's because the intensity of the work there is like not standardized in terms of like when you get a BA, every university can basically set what's in that thing. So like the 10,000 words a week stuff, all of that. And they seem very firm in their arguments. And the other half of the internet just says that it's a very elite thing that people at Oxford get an M MA after three years and everyone else gets a BA and I see it I, br I really do so there we go anyway we'll be getting it we'll be updating my LinkedIn that's why we're here not even sure how much I'll be able to show you but I thought we could have a, a little natter and a catch-up anyway and I'm now running late I look like I'm playing a man in the school play I am ready I do look like. I do look like I have a starring role in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, but unfortunately you don't get a choice in what you wear. It's not a dress situation. So here we are. Um, also, I was explaining to him yesterday, I was like, you're not going to enjoy the ceremony. It's not like where people are like, Grace Beverly, MA. It's not like that. The whole thing is in Latin and you just process and then you get your thing and then you leave. It's not a fun experience. It's not a celebratory experience. It's, um, it's, it's very interesting. I used to fucking love this place. Here she is! Totally depends who remembers this, but this, this room here, that is where I lived in first year. That's the brick wall room, like Lily's still asleep. And then there, that one, is where I made the bed into a double bed. That was third year. done it guys with you know minimal work to be honest here she is the library i spent literally all my fucking time in
these are the steps I was talking about when I said that I was sat there bawling my eyes out when the Tala launch glitched and then realised everyone inside could hear me. Just sitting in, oh my god, this eyeliner. No eyeliner works on me, but we are just sitting in a cafe having five minutes of silence before we go to the celebration lunch and drinks and everything. I'm exhausted. It's hard being such a high achiever. Achiever? A high achiever with so little work. And now I have to carry the weight of my new title. How was your experience of the latin ceremony? It was very Harry Potter vibes and I loved the bowing. Thank that was you. my favourite part and you were off rhythm of the bowing. I was off rhythm? Yeah. Fuck. With a music degree no less. Yeah. A music M.A. Music ma. Music ma. Do you think, wait this is an important question. Do I think what? Do you think that if we had met while I was here, you would have liked me? Um, I would have been 32. <laughs> that would have been inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Just had the lunch which was delicious i'm just returning my gown and stuff and we're gonna go to the pub and then we're only gonna spend a bit of time in the pub because i'm actually off to new york tomorrow morning for work it's actually very stressful what i've got on there but really really exciting as well um sorry i feel like i actually don't know how to vlog i'm literally vlogging like someone who doesn't know what to say to their like long lost relative. Um, got my little degree ceremony thing. I'm gonna go pick up my degree certificate in a sec. And we're just gonna go to the pub for a little bit, then head off to London. Hello, I'm talking to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we need to return that. And... You see me. Yeah, what have you got a degree in? Office quotes, Perfect. for UK only. UK only? Yeah. Right, we're off to the pub. Here she is. discharged three of your organs are in serious trouble so then we went back in and then when we were then discharged we had to take his temperature every 10 minutes and then if it went above like 100 we had to go straight back to the hospital and we were in the lion king and he had to take <laughs> he had to take his temperature every 10 minutes and then there was just this one point and it like went up to like 
102, 103. And I was like, right, we're leaving. And he was like, no, let's stay till the end. And I was like, no, we're leaving. Yeah, and he was like, money for this, you? <laughs> you had six. <laughs> that was our last time in New York, so we're hoping for a better time this time. But if you need a car listen recommendation, Paul Sinner's BBC pub quiz makes this man very happy. Oh, hello, boys. Oh, hello, boys. Hello, little ones. Yeah, that's what they do. They just nap and walk. The baby. baby the baby. baby baby. The, the boys. boys. <laughs> he doesn't like. This is Ziggy, who you've obviously already met. This is, this is introduction. <gasps> yeah, it is. It's his YouTube debut. The baby baby. This is the baby baby. He's Zeus. He's very, very cute. He just lacks brain cells. Don't be mean. No, no, I'm not mean. We just know he does. He does. But he is very cute and he's very happy. So, got back gonna be having a pizza for dinner it is a saturday night it is gonna be wild gonna be cuddling who's making that noise Jesus. gonna be cuddling ah! 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 boys let's go see so yeah literally just gonna have a nice chilled night in then we're leaving to new york in the morning but thanks for coming to oxford with me for one last time i mean hopefully i'll go there again at some point but not as like a university student or more than a student but like something to do with the university it was honestly so nice to see everyone it all felt so nostalgic and I miss that time in my life so much. Like, don't get me wrong, very happy now. But it was just, it was so pure and it was so simple, even though I was stressed out my fucking mind the whole time. So I guess the life lesson there is that you're always gonna be stressed out your fucking mind and then you're just gonna look back and be like, oh, I shouldn't have been. And then we just do that round and round in circles just until we die. It's a positive thought. But thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I have nothing more to add. Mm.